15th of 2023 and welcome into this one nation weather update for you here and here's a look at your sunday storm reports that we picked up the good news is when you filter the storm reports through storm prediction center we only had 27 total reports yesterday but that's not zero so we did have people affected on mother's day we had a few spotty wind reports into portions of utah and arizona but the focal point for some of these wind and hail reports came here from portions of kansas arkansas but especially here in Illinois and Missouri, and that target zone from yesterday where we had the level 2 threat. The good news was we did not see any tornadoes, and none of the reports were, you know, significant severe. So we had a pretty mild day for severe weather yesterday, and we've got at least another chance for a few of those severe storms today. I've got to look at that in a minute. Monday setup. You can see we have two zones for flooding concerns, Illinois back into Oklahoma, as well as in this zone in Texas where we're here. That's where we're watching out for some of that flooding to arise with the stationary boundary that's really setting up some of these scattered showers across portions of the south. We're looking at also some precipitation into portions of the Pacific Northwest where the heat will be building for the day today. And here's what that means. You can see temperatures up in the 90s in some of these zones. So since there is precipitation in that area and since there is at least some warmth, don't be shocked if there's at least some brief severe weather in that area with some of the showers. But definitely not anticipated to be anything past normal thunderstorms in general for you. We've got 90s in many portions of the Mid-South as well. Well, portions of the Carolinas and northward stay in the 70s for the day today. Here's a look at your severe weather outlook for Monday, May 15th. Credits to the Storm Prediction Center from Tulsa all the way over to Nashville. We have this kind of thin area where we could see a marginal risk for some of the pop-up thunderstorms to go severe. And really, if you commute in this area, just be ready for some abnormally strong winds in some of these storms as they get going this afternoon. I'm not anticipating a um, severe um, severe weather watch out of any of this just because this is a level one risk for severe weather but just keep it in mind that we could see some brief gusty winds maybe some brief hail up to an inch in diameter tornadoes are not anticipated but you can never rule one out at all now here's a look at your monday flood risk we've got a level two risk again there it is portions of south texas so this will include places like laguna heights where i heard on the news the other day on channel four that they had a bad tornado in ef1 strike a community there um, it really damaged some mobile homes not good there and there was i believe one person killed out of that and then you can also see we had another flood risk that goes from illinois over to oklahoma and then we have a little bit going on in the southeast as well but tomorrow i think the story is going to be that we get a little bit of a boundary to strengthen and that's going to allow for our tuesday outlook to actually bring a level two threat for you here banking up against the appalachian mountains for you here so coming out of portions of central kentucky I think Nashville, the worst of this threat is going to stay north and east of you, but at least a level one for you. Atlanta could get the severe Greensboro, Roanoke, so all these zones watching out primarily for gusty winds. So let's play out what this week holds for us here. Again, as you work your way through your Monday, you can definitely see some of that scattered coverage of that rainfall getting going into portions of the central part of the country for us here, which is why we at least have that level one risk for severe weather. But as we go into the overnight of tonight, a, a kind of a system is going to develop, and you can really see that going. There comes a band. There's another band out ahead of it. So we could definitely see some wind damage as the primary concern out of tomorrow's storms. And then those kind of push on off, and then we see things breaking up. But notice we still have precipitation into parts of the southeast on Wednesday. So we just have to keep a very close eye on this because it's just a really unsettled weather pattern. And also notice our new system entering the plane. Subscribe, hit the like button, be ready to watch the next YouTube shorts as they come out on this channel. I've started doing that, and they get a lot more views. So that's where you're going to see a lot of the content. And a special shout-out to Tropical Tidbits and Pivotal Weather and CNN Today.